Okay, everyone. Hi, I'm finally here. <laughs> I can't believe how long it's taken me to get this done. I started this afternoon at 12. Now it's 8 o'clock at night. My lighting's not too good, so uh, forgive me if you can't see it really well. Anyway, I went to Lowe's. It's like a Home Depot, you know, a hardware store. Had them cut a two, well, this one was a 2 by 10 Brought it home, spray painted everything brown, and then let it dry. Then I sprayed everything this cream color. And oh, a little hint: I used piece of, um, a piece of wax, and I waxed over all of this area before I spray painted it the cream because it will. Once you take the sandpaper, it's like butter; it just comes off because nothing adheres to the wax. So that's just a little tip. Anyway. I took this and made, hold on, hold on, this. And I don't know if I sh I'll just take pictures of it after because I have a feeling if I turn it around it's all going to be backwards. So let me just show you now what I did. After I did what I just told you with the spray paint, then I took a piece of, where is it? Of course I can't find it. Of course I can't. I took a piece of burlap and I put it down to the length of the wood and then I separated a few pieces so it would be a little bit frayed. Then I took a piece of muslin cut it to where it fit, where I could still see some of the burlap. And then I took a stencil and did family on it. And then I took a hammer and with these tacks from Hobby Lobby, I don't know if you can see it or not, can you see them? Anyway, they're tacks from Hobby Lobby. You can get them all different colors. And then I hammered those down. So now I had the burlap and the muslin with the family stenciled on it. Now, when I saw this, I saw this and it was 2014. She All she did was what I just showed you here and then put pictures on top and that was it. But I know me, and I knew I was going to go beyond that, which I did, because I like to embellish more. So then I took, I got some burlap roses, and so I put one here, and then I put some of the muslin that was just cut off from this and tied it around. And what I tied it with, I don't know if you can see, but I took one of the tacks that I used, you know, to tack the four corners, and I hammered it down. To where I had a little bit left where I could tie things on it because I knew I wanted to hang things from it. So I took some of the muslin and I frayed it, put that on, put some pearls. I'm going to show you even if it's backwards, I don't care. And then I'll take pictures after so you can see it right. And um, then I took some twine, which I got from Hobby Lobby as well. So it could to go with this because it's more shabby rustic type and then I hung a key and then this is from Tim Holtz and it says can you see it it says inspired inspire and then I got one of these little um, glass oh they're from Tim Holtz you know like I can't even think I'm so tired um, I put a little saying in there and I put some glitter and um, it says forever, forever family and um, yeah so I, I mean I just added some stuff I just can't just put a little a few things I always have to embellish it and then <clears throat> I took this comes from ornament uh, these are ornament hangers let me show you these I got from Hobby Lobby So I took these ornament hangers 
and I untwisted the little curly cue to make it straight and then I drilled little you know what no I didn't drill I, I did a, um, a nail because I didn't have a drill that was small enough they would have moved around too much so I just hit a nail into four of these so I knew I could make four pictures on this and then I took the twine made a bow and then put a half pearl on there so it, I mean it just so it wasn't so bare so anyway yeah that is what I did with those pieces of block that you were wondering what I was going to do with. <laughs> and I'm so sorry that it took so long but it was just one thing after the other today first the the printer didn't work and then I couldn't find a couple of the things that I wanted to put on this and then I started thinking well do I want to put all of these in brown or do I want to do them in the different colors that my kids have this particular son and his wife this will go with their decor where my other daughter <clears throat> She has more teal than my other son and his wife have more of the natural like this. And then the other son has more of the navy and the grays. So when I get done with all of them, I will, again, do just a little tutorial on what I did on theirs and then show you. But I just, I felt so bad because I said I was going to have this up today. And I thought, they're going to think I'm a flake because I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done it. It's just, I just kept, I kept hitting... Uh, road bumps. So anyway, I'll take a few pictures so you can see it up close and personal and hope you have a great night. Take care. Bye.